Super Bowl tainted? Should there be? <laughs> what do you guys think? Neither do I. Has this, however, detracted from your joy of winning the Super Bowl? Absolutely not. Why not? <laughs> uh, because we earned and achieved everything that we, we got this year as a team, and I'm very proud of that, and our fans should be too. Off of Brady there. Brady saying he hasn't digested the full report and that he is still a part of the process, obviously waiting for punishment. Brady's agent, meanwhile, Don Yee, was on Mike and Mike this morning. This is what he had to say. A lot of people already are assuming there's going to be some punishment. I want to go back to the report again. The report stated that it was more probable than not. Okay, when a lawyer writes that, they're basically saying that it's 50.1% versus 49.9%, essentially a coin flip. And so I'd be just interested to see, you know, what the league does, because the league's not obligated to follow the findings here. The league could decide that, well, with the 50.1% versus 49.9%, we don't think that there's enough here. After a three-and-a-half-month investigation, millions of dollars spent, we just don't think that there's enough here for a maybe. All right. Not enough here for maybe. That was Donnie again, uh, Tom Brady's agent. Stephen A., Tom Brady still waiting for what the league has to administer in terms of punishment, but that was his first response or non-response. Uh, did he make it better or worse? I think he made it worse, me personally. And <sighs> Skip Bayless, look, man, we're on first take. We debate about a multitude of issues. But I pride myself on being a human being that doesn't wish ill will upon anybody. You know, I might call it like I see it, but that doesn't make me happy about it. I wish everybody could get paid. I wish everybody could be successful. I wish everybody could be happy. I think the world is a better place that way. When I look at Tom Brady last night, I saw somebody who was evasive. I saw somebody who was leaning on the crowd for support. I really, and it's just, it's just me. It's, it's, it, there's no evidence that you can attach to it or anything like that. It's just a personal opinion of mine. You have just been accused of being a cheater. People like Skip Bayless go on the air and they bring up your four Super Bowl rings and question whether or not it would be tainted. Christopher Mad Dog Russo and others echo those sentiments. Nationwide, there's a conversation as to just how legitimate you are. Skip Bayless, I had Shannon Sharp, your friend and mine, Hall of Fame tight end that came on my radio show yesterday and said that if Tom Brady were being inducted into the Hall of Fame today, he would not show up because that man dishonored the game because it is clear that he cheated. And you're Tom Brady, and these are not isolated opinions. There's a growing level of momentum that is swelling before our very eyes. Your character as a man, as a professional, is integrity so much so that your own father comes out and emphatically and vehemently comes to your support. And Tom Brady's smiling like ain't nothing going on. And on top of it all, he sits there and says, I haven't had time to digest it. It's only been 30 hours. I don't need 30 minutes to respond to somebody that says I cheated if I know I did it. I mean, it's preposterous. Now, I understand that I'm not him and he's not me. And if I'm Tom Brady, I wouldn't want to be me. I'd want to be him. I wouldn't want to be anybody. I'd want to be him because he is living a pretty damn good life. And I get that. But you know something? In the end, when all is said and done, we all know, Skip, what you have most is your name. What you have most is who you are and what you stand for. And for Tom Brady to be the closest thing to a paragon of virtue outside of Peyton Manning, to have the impeccable and near flawless reputation that he has had throughout his illustrious career, to sit there and to be so nonchalant and to come across as so dismissive when you 
have been called a cheater. It's mind boggling to me, man. It really, really is. And, and, and I mean, I expected him to come out last night, serious face the whole bit, the crowd, yeah, you smile at them, acknowledge them, appreciate their support, but you sit down with Jim Gray, this ain't a game. Somebody accused me of cheating, that's a damn lie. I saw none of that. I was very disappointed, man. I, I just looked at him and I said, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. I don't know if I believe anything about him right now, other than he can throw the football. I cannot disagree with the thing you just said. I must admit and agree you are correct in everything that you said so far. I'm going to repeat what I said at the end of the show yesterday. I am still open to hearing Tom Brady fight back in public and try to refute this Wells report point by point, especially its conclusion, as vague as its conclusion might have been. Allow me a couple of minutes, Stephen A., to say that I spoke to three people last night who were close to Tom Brady, and all three said that he keeps telling them he is completely innocent and that those ball boys, as they call them, did nothing wrong. Now, is Tom Brady just being delusional about that in private? Maybe, because obviously, as we talked and talked and talked about yesterday, the circumstantial evidence in the Wells report is awfully convincing. And it was hard for me as a Brady supporter and a fan to sit here yesterday and say, hey, sounds like they got him. The text messages and all the circumstantial involvement and the video of the, the guy, the attendant in the referee's locker room taking the balls into the bathroom for 100 seconds before the game. I mean, just doesn't smell right. Tom Brady does not look good. So, Stephen A., real quick point before I get to my conclusion. I did talk to our friend Jay Feely, a close friend of Tom Brady's, yep. longtime NFL kicker. And I, I need to, for, for Jay's sake and Tom's sake, I want to make one point in favor of Tom Brady here. Jay did point out to me that all quarterbacks and kickers and punters pay the ball boys or the equipment people to prepare their footballs. So it came across like these were bribes to this McNally character. Mm -hmm. And Jay said, no, we, we pay them extra to do this. It's like you, you, it's, it's the form of tips, yes, not sure. bribes. You, know, you, you tip them because they don't make much money anyway. And they're doing you a, a personal service to prepare the ball exactly the way you want it prepared. And then they take it to the referees before the game. And Jay said, yeah, we get mad at them when the referee rejects the balls that they prepared. And they bring it back and say, they're saying it's this or that. The kicker balls are different, obviously, than the quarterback balls. So, again, maybe circumstantially those texts weren't indicating bribes as much as autographed footballs, shoes, Uggs, whatever they might be, or just tip-type things what instead they of bribes. Okay, so just for the record. Now to my okay. conclusion. And this is where I'm so with you. You know how I often talk in the show about the split personality that is Tom Brady? I've never seen anything yep. like it before. There's the off-the-field Brady that is mealy mouth, golly gee, all shucks, we'll see. And then there's Psycho Tom on the football field who plays on the edge and sometimes completely over the edge. I don't even know who the guy is. He loses it on the field. He becomes this over-emotional, trash-talking battler who's going to run clear to the end zone to bang helmets with Gronk after a touchdown pass. He's going to point favors, uh, fingers at DBs that, that tra talk trash at him or about him after he shows them up on the football field. You know this guy. He just like, I've never seen a star quarterback act that over-emotionally on the football field. I need to see him now Get in the in public, I need to see that guy. I wanted to see him last night. I'm with you, Stephen A. I kind of hoped we'd see a little psycho Tom last night, that he would turn to Jim Gray, who, by the way, asked him a lot of good, tough questions. He tried. He really right did. Yeah. He tried. I mean, I was surprised I, in that setting and forum. And he didn't care, but nope. Tom wasn't giving him anything. And, and, and Tom respects Jim enough, obviously, that he kept answering until they finally just ran out of Questions, yeah, right. Like, I, I don't know what else, where else Jim could have gone. But right. my point is, I wanted Tom to do what you said. Finally, turn off the audience for a second. 
all of his sycophantic, you know, fans and, and just talk to Jim Gray and mo mostly to us and say, well, whatever. If, if you're completely innocent, Tom Brady, we need to hear it. Now, I realize your legal team is preparing your battle, but if, if you can shoot holes in this Wells report, if you can refute the conclusion, we need to hear it, Tom. We need to hear it in short order, and we need to hear it from Psycho Tom. If you've got the ammo, if you've got the goods on this, if you've got the details to refute point by point this Wells report and, and show us that, that you were being set up here, it was a sting operation, that it's frame gate, as your father said, show us. You, you can't tell your friends anymore. You've got to tell us because your reputation, it's not teetering. It already well, crashed to me. He, it, it's well, already tainted unless he could undo it with one big press conference, completely the opposite of the one we had the week before the Super Bowl yeah. that was just pathetic. You don't want him guarded. Well, you want him to speak maybe. Well, 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 Skip, sure. Skip, I got news for you. I don't think it would require all of that. Like, I don't need every tedious minutiae of, 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 of what Tom Brady did in order to prove his innocence. But what I would say to you is, you brought up Jay Philly. Jay Feely. Let me tell you why, as much, and I like Jay Feely, and I respect him, and I appreciate the fact that he's incredibly honest about what his relationship with Tom Brady is. Because, listen, all of this stuff where people can't have friends and you don't have loved ones and you're always, you know, you know, d definitively objective, that's a bunch of nonsense. We all cultivate personal relationships in our lives. And Jay Feely has one with Tom Brady. So we understand that. That doesn't, that doesn't dis summarily dismiss his opinion. He's just letting you know to be on guard because he's going to find things favorably for Tom Brady. But here's where I jump off, off the boat with Jay Feely. Skip, you know Jay Feely much, much better than I do. We think this guy's going to run for office and win one day. Hell, I might vote for him. But I got news for you, Skip Bayless. Could you imagine if somebody had accused Jay Feely of this? What he would have said? I agree. How he would have acted? I agree. He, would, he wouldn't be anything like Tom Brady. You're exactly right. He wouldn't right. be anything. Oh. You, there's no, there oh. is no, he, there is no yeah, way no. that Jay Feely would go for it. Nope. And that's what we're talking about totally here. Agree. I'm not I'm not requiring first of all, I'm in no position to require anything, neither are you. But we're not requiring Tom Brady to come out, I don't believe, at least I'm not. And every tedious detail from point A to point Z, tell us everything that happened. I'm simply saying, yo, they're calling you a cheater. Yep. They're saying you cheated to win championships. And that's all you got? I know. You in front of a live audience and you being evasive and you just could, dismissive yeah, and laughing. That. I mean, could you Jay Feely yep. would never do never. that. He be Jay Feely would probably be in Tom Brady's face. What are you doing? Okay, well, what are you doing? I, I believe he has been in Tom's face. Yes. And, and remember, so what does that tell you? These are so what does that tell friends. you? They were close friends before Brady became Brady when they were young oh, players at well, Michigan, well, okay? I'm, I'm cool with that. Listen, okay. listen, I, I got, I got, I got no issues with way. Jay Feely. Okay, okay. Uh, but, yeah. but my yeah. point is, in the end, Jay Feely texted me later in, in our discussions last night and said that, that you're right, and I'm paraphrasing slightly, but he said he needs to fight and not shrug. Yeah. That's Jay Feely. Okay. He needs to fight and not shrug. Okay. That's fair. Right, there we go. Okay. All right. Well, at least Jay Feely's acknowledging yes. it. That, that, that's what I'm looking yes. for is All what right. I'm saying. Stephen yes. A. and Skip Bayless uh, says Tom Brady, they're calling you a cheater. In short, you need to fight, not shrug. Uh. Uh, let's leave it there. Super Bowl tainted? Should there be a <laughs> What do you guys think? Neither do I. Has this, however, detracted from your joy of winning the Super Bowl? Absolutely not. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> uh, because we earned it. Report again. The report stated that it was more probable than not. Okay, when a lawyer writes that, they're basically saying that it's 50.1% versus 49.9%, essentially a coin flip. And so I'd be just interested to see, you know, what the league does, because the league's not obligated to follow the findings here. The league could decide that, well, with the 50... Uh, did he make it better or worse? I think he made it worse. Me personally, and <sighs> Skip Bayless, look, man, we're on first take. We debate about a multitude of issues. 
but I pride myself on being a human being that doesn't wish ill will upon anybody. You know, I might call it like I see it, but that doesn't make me happy about it. I wish everybody could get paid. I wish everybody could be successful. I wish everybody could point one percent versus forty nine point nine percent. We don't think that there's enough here after a three and a half month investigation, millions of dollars spent. We just don't think that there's enough here for a maybe. All right. Not enough here for a maybe. That was Donnie again, uh, Tom Brady's agent, Stephen A. Tom Brady's still waiting for what the league has to administer in terms of punishment, but that was his first response or non-response. Achieved everything that we, we got this year as a team, and I'm very proud of that, and our fans should be too. Off of Brady there. Brady saying he hasn't digested the full report and that he is still a part of the process, obviously waiting for punishment. Brady's agent, meanwhile, Don Yee, was on Mike and Mike this morning. This is what he had to say. A lot of people already are assuming there's going to be some punishment. I want to go back to the 